Hello YouTube land. <clears throat> I'm hoping you guys could see the dirt on this. Let me see if I can. Very dirty and I figured I'd do a demonstration of how I put on this the chem. Now it's important to go from the bottom up um, because if you go from the top down you can get you know drip marks and uh you know they might not they might not come out you know that easy so by going from the bottom up you eliminate drip marks and then when you rinse you go from the top down this way you're you know maximizing your chem and you know you're removing everything is flowing down so with that being said let's uh fire it up and you'll see the difference and uh you know the gutters i'm gonna apply temp to but however you know you want to be careful of your mix because you don't want to you know you don't want to discolor you know the t the roofing tiles you won't hurt them, but if you get the uh, soap on it, you're going to make them, you know, noticeably lighter. So I'm very, you know, pretty careful about that. Usually, I think I, I'm just going to do right now is I wet the tiles first. And by doing that, anything that splashes on there is automatically diluted. And yeah. All right. So I believe... I'm going to do that first. Um, I'm looking for my fitting. Uh, just bear with me one minute. Oh, and this is a mini J-Rod. In other videos, you might have seen it. I got on there. I'm going to use the... Uh, I like using that to rinse. Um, it frees up my uh, X-Jet because I, uh, I only have about 15 feet of hose on there. I'm going to be extending it. Um, Somebody told me that I can go, you know, much longer and I will be checking it out. But first step, I'm going to I'm going to protect the tiles by wetting them. Second step, you know, apply the chem and then rinse it off. Let's go.
Now this was pretty bad. Um, I don't know if I got to do a second application, but you see, I did get some overspray. So that's what I was doing was rinsing the roof again. And I changed positions, you might have noted, because yeah, you want to, you know, you don't want to spray into the wind like I was because it was, the chem was going all over me and that's never pleasant. Um, anyway, now you see for the gutters, um, the gutters have lichen on it, you know, and which is, uh, you know, it has organic growth and, you know, this is where I will use pressure, you know, as long as you're careful, you won't, you know, you won't harm the gutter in any way. But, and while the chem is working on the vinyl, I will, you know, I'm going to attack the gutter. And, you know, I do have a spray, a pressurized bottle for, you know, I use that for touch-ups. Um, anyway, let's get to the next step.
Okay, not surprisingly, I gotta give, uh, I gotta do a second treatment, especially on this side, which is pretty common. Um, the underside of that soffit, it's got some heavy growth. You know, just obviously, I know it hasn't been done in years. Um, anyway, but for the sake of uh, avoiding repetitiveness, uh, I'll. Uh, sign off but you get the idea you see how uh, that end that side down there is pretty clear i gotta mix up more chem so i couldn't even show you right now if i wanted but anyway you see over here we still have it but you know this, this is the this is the nature of the beast i have to you know sometimes on very dirty ones you have to reapply and I believe one more application will do it. With that being said, if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button, subscribe, and peace out.